What are we review? What are we reviewing today? Well, what we are review what we are reviewing today, and what's up, guys? It's the bow tie man here. We're we are reviewing. I can't talk in this video. The Sphero Spark Edition. So this is a Sphero, but it's a little different, as you can tell, called the Spark Edition. And here is the product hype video. When you're a kid. Learning and playing always seem to be on opposite sides, but we believe we can change that. Meet Spiro Spark Edition, the playful robot that makes programming fun and offers challenges for every skill level. Spark began as a local meetup group where we taught kids how to code. A year later, we launched a series of free lessons, enabling students and teachers to discover all that's possible with the Spiro Ball. Now, as we face a future where coding will be as important as reading and writing, we want to give everyone the opportunity to learn the language of tomorrow. In the box, you'll find Spiro Spark Edition, an induction charger, and a few other handy tools to help you get creative. The ball itself comes packed with all the same sensors and electronics as Spiro 2.0, but unlike Spiro 2.0's white shell, we've encased Spark Edition in clear polycarbonate, bringing you closer to the robotic action. Get started by downloading the Spark app and connecting to your ball via Bluetooth. If you're new to coding, learn some basic principles by first exploring the sample programs. Then, set off to create your very own using drag and drop commands like roll, spin, flip, and color change. At any time, you can even access the actual code behind the blocks and get a sense of how text-based programming operates. If you need a break from coding, turn your device sideways to just drive or tap on the community tab to see what others are creating. Spark Edition is also compatible with all of the other games and apps already available for Spiro. We have big plans for Spark Edition, so be sure to check for updates. It's time to break the rules about learning. So fire up your imagination and begin exploring robotics, programming, and so much more. All right, so what it does, this takes the robotic ball from Sphero and makes it completely clear. It also comes with a clear base, a protractor, a notebook, and a pencil. And so for best results, you also want to use the Spark app. My take on it is I love it. It's, I love it, plain and simple. I think it's so cool that kids now can see the robotics that are going on within the Sphero. I think that's a great, great tool for so many classrooms. And frankly, seeing the inside of the ball and inside of the charger, too, because the charger's clear, um, is so cool. The, the protractor, pencil, and notebook lets you get started easy with math lessons, which I think is a great addition. And the Spark app, but where it really excels, is the, the Spark app is really great. It takes the block programming language and lets kids use that to program the Sphero. Because if you've ever used their other kind of programming like Microlab, they can be a little bit complex, especially for younger kids. But not only that, it has pre-built block programs. So you can actually go and without even building them, you can get examples and you can have those go. It has a place to explore the inner workings of the ball. And honestly, after seeing the video, I didn't see this part. You can also explore what other people are doing that, doing with them. Now, one thing I'd like to see for us that are teachers is them to actually put lesson suggestions for it in the box like some do. I know they're online, but it would be nice to open the box and be like, okay, here's a lesson I can do right now with this. So my overall ad take of Sphero Spark is I was already a champion of, Spir of Spiro. I, always, I already thought there was so much you could do with it in the classroom. You can do problem solving with obstacle courses, build chariots, you can do programming, you can do math, you can do a lot of different things. And to take it and make it a very education-friendly version where the robot's clear, where you can do block programming now and coding, I think it's a great, great, great step for Spiro as a company. And I'm sure that this is going to be a big um, part of them going forward. 